check out this update. Hey, uh, Twingo Talks. We haven't done this in a while. <laughs> We're driving in the great fields. Look at that dog. The dog is a happy dog. Bam! Suki's in a paradise. Twingo Talks. Episode number 19? Maybe? 18? I don't remember. Hey. No. It's been too long time since we've had an episode. Frankly, I was not at all motivated to make another episode. And uh, thanks to one of our listeners. Hi, Maris. <laughs> I am uh, dedicating this episode to Maris as uh, I got to see the guy in, uh, in real life. And he's like, why aren't you making any new podcast episodes? And I'm like, yeah, really. What I was saying is that I'm doing everything kind of like halfway like the production is super silly i just put uh, put the phone in my car and uh, there's no good audio like you can hear the motor running and uh, i don't have a microphone and all sorts of things like that which uh, really does not bring any quality and uh, i'm always shooting this from the hip i don't prepare any material i don't even know what i'm talking about all the time and i don't know what i'm going to be talking about like it's all pure improvisation just like it is right now <laughs> and um, to be honest uh, I stopped recording those because I don't feel like they're worth your time if uh, I don't put in a proper effort in it so this time I'm at least trying to get it a little bit better and um, we have a camera, we have a microphone, we're not driving. <laughs> and uh, the least amount of uh, things that I can do is go and reach my goal, which was to reach 20 episodes. And recently, new statistics for, for, for podcasts came out. And uh, from now on, you have to make 21 episodes <laughs> to be number one uh, percent uh, of uh, world's podcasters. Um, yeah, so I'm being completely honest. I'm being completely open to you. Like, I don't know if I'm going to make it past 21. Like, I'm going to go to the 21st episode. That's my goal. I'll finish the goal. And um, we'll see where it takes us. We'll see where it takes us because uh, there are other projects in my life that are very exciting. And, you know, if I'm trying to push myself in every single direction, I'm uh, becoming a jack of all trades, which means I'm an, a master of none, you know. Uh, I don't ever get to master anything. I hope you don't hear Suki scratching. She's bringing quite a bit of noise. Oh my God, mosquitoes are already outside. I'm sorry, you don't need to know this information. <laughs> yeah, some uh, some exciting projects are coming up. Uh, I still can't do jujitsu. My back is uh, hurting as fuck. But now I'm uh, properly doing uh, physiotherapy. You want to say something? Wait, wait. I don't think she wants to say anything. Yeah, I'm. I'm I finally started doing what I was supposed to do months ago. Like I've I've have my injury, my back injury for seven months now, and uh, only now I started to do proper physiotherapy with a therapist going uh, continuously. We're finally getting around the exercises that don't work, and we're finally finding out which exercises do work and uh, relieve some pain. And it's fucking crazy when I'm uh, doing some of the exercises like. I don't know. It seems like there's something really blocked because when I when I do the exercises after some of them, my head is spinning so crazy and like uh, everything in front of my eyes gets dark. Like uh, I'm a, I'm about to faint and I have, have to stop in between the in between the sets and have a breather because like literally the feeling is like I'm about to pass out, <laughs> pass out, and. Um, yeah, that's that's quite exciting to see my back slowly unlocking, although it's taking a lot of time, and uh, 
Yeah, sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes it's uh, really is not motivating. Like I can't do any weightlifting, which I was doing all the time before I started doing physiotherapy. I can't do any running. I can't do boxing. I can't do sports, basically, until I get it fixed, which sucks. I'm like, uh, since we started the physiotherapy two weeks ago, I had like such a crazy depression attack because like, I can't fucking do sports and like sports means so much to me like to to how I stand in world and uh, how I view myself if I'm being physically active and I do devote time in uh, in improving myself physically and uh, getting stronger getting faster getting more bendy uh, learning new techniques how to kick someone's ass you know like uh, those things allow me to appreciate myself more and respect myself more and I love the discipline I love the pushing yourself I love pushing myself I love growing like I'm in love with growing I love to grow as a human person and I think that's uh, kind of what all of us should be doing and now when I'm in physiotherapy and I can't do sports it's like such a big part of my life is just absent i can't do it i can't do any sports so now i'm in kind of a process where i'm trying to figure out what is the at least something that i can do because i can't do any exercises that in any way shape or fashion involve my back so uh, maybe i can do some biceps curls maybe i can try try to train my wrist I'm, i'm basically what i'm trying to say is that i'm trying to figure out how to have a little program for how I can still make myself physically better with the the issue that I'm facing. And um, hopefully that's going to be successful. <laughs> um, and hopefully I will get my back fixed soon. I have an MRI scheduled in March, end of the March. And uh, my goal is to do my best with physiotherapy and uh, hopefully by the time when I'm gonna get to my MRI, which is more than two, nah, two months away, a little bit less than two months away, uh, hopefully my back is already gonna be all right. I don't know, maybe that's a naive hope, but that's what I'm striving for and I'm doing my best. And also, if we're talking about what what things I can't do, I can't do a lot of work that I'm supposed to be doing. Like I do in my everyday life, I do a lot of physical work. And uh, for good or for bad, I can't do the physical work as well because everything affects my back. Like I was fucking cleaning swimming pool today and I'm holding in my hands the, the stick which you clean the swimming pool with. And I did it for five minutes and afterwards my back has pain. It's fucked up. Even now I'm sitting in this weird position. My back is painful. And uh, I understand. I'm the root of this problem. I'm the cause of this problem. I was ignoring it very successfully for almost seven months until I properly started treating it. I definitely was not making the situation better. Only worse and worse and worse and worse and uh, I don't know what was going on in my mind but I just hoped I thought that it's miraculously gonna heal itself and it didn't obviously because things don't happen that way and uh, now I'm paying the consequences and uh, who knows what is going on most likely it seems like I have a disc hernia herniated disc i hope it's not a ruptured disc because that is probably very bad i'm uh, realizing that there is a potential that i might have to have a surgery which would really suck (laughs) Uh, i've looked into some not steroids 
but into some peptides and I'm considering having peptides, which I don't know the science behind, but like basically there are some, some things you can take, some substances you can take that uh, can help you heal trauma and um, physical trauma injuries and uh, yeah, some of those substances are banned if you're an athlete. Uh, if commission finds them in your blood, you're 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 out. You're out of the sport. Uh, the specific substance that I'm looking into, it's not it's not not banned. It's uh, it's allowed even in the big organizations like UFC and whatsoever. But what is the problem with BPC one fifty seven is uh, uh, that those peptides can also encourage enforce and give more power to potential um, cancer cells, which is very fucking concerning, you know? Uh, so, like, uh, I'm doing my research and what I can do do for my back, and uh, I, I get to a point where, like, okay, maybe I need to take some medicine and whatsoever, but it's also like, oh, shit, I don't know if I want to fuck around with stuff, like, that could uh, make your potential cancer cells stronger. Uh, so, yeah. But you know, it's gonna be all right. At the end of the day, it's gonna be all right. I'm I'm believing that physiotherapy is gonna work. If it's not gonna work, I'm open to looking into surgeries and uh, drinking peptides and whatsoever. Like, I do want to be a cap capable human being. I do not want to be crippled like this, which is actually crippled is a, a interesting thing. I I've always been super afraid of becoming handicapped i had this like fear coming up i don't know where where did it started from but it kept on creeping up on me like throughout the years just coming out of the blue like fuck what if i'm gonna become like break my back and become handicapped and uh fair enough i have done a lot of like extreme stuff like cliff jumping and uh, and uh, f free solo climbing on a on a on a like nine meter wall when I'm I I know zero about climbing. All I have done is like climb trees and and shit, uh, and like very ignorantly thinking that I'm nothing bad is ever gonna happen to me. Like there I have been in situations where I definitely could have broken my fucking back and uh, I'm thankful that it, it has not happened and uh, I will not become handicapped that wouldn't be so fun that would be so fun um, running, walking around carrying weights, uh, lifting weights is uh, really fun fighting is really fun like uh, being able to walk your dog is super nice and uh, if you have two legs you have two hands your spine is well like you don't have any things that are not allowing you to do sports or just be active and uh, enjoy your body and uh, your capabilities of the body Please, very please, do appreciate what you have and do find ways to really enjoy this process. Imagine all of the people in wheelchairs, how much they would love to be able to go for a run. Fuck, they would love to just walk to the fridge, walk to the toilet, you know? Like, there are many things that, like, we take for granted and... Uh, some of them are much simpler than we can imagine. Recently, I got my triceps, no, not triceps, uh, trapete, I don't know how you call that. <laughs> uh, trap, trap, that's the, a muscle in the, in the neck and in the shoulders. I got it injured and uh, I, I experienced such a huge amount of pain. I couldn't hold my, hold my neck uh, my head on the on the shoulders without any pain it was so fucking painful i couldn't like the all i can i can show you all of my range of motion right now i could do this and i could do this 
That's all I could move my my neck. Like uh, I had to go to a doctor, got prescribed muscle relaxants. I got a neck brace, and I was walking with a neck brace and whatsoever. And the thing that I was really shocked about is like, holy shit! I didn't even realize how many like much things are going on in like everyday motoring. Like it was so difficult to change your position how i sleep in bed like so painful head is extremely heavy you're lying on the on the bed and if your neck is uh, is injured and you can't move your neck it's the biggest pain it's the it's the biggest pain is the most difficult thing to do like to to stand up to lay down to change the position uh and also to find a position where you can lay in and uh, not be hurt like fuck crazy crazy we really need to appreciate what we have and uh, use it for our best abilities like if you can't do sports do sports do yourself a favor like enjoy it it's that that thing is not going to be there forever we are getting older we are going to be um old one day you know and uh, we won't be able to run like we were used to be able to run we won't be able to jump how we used to be able to jump we won't be able to recover how we were used to be able to recover and while we can we have to enjoy it in and if you're listening in any age you are if you're listening to this enjoy physical activity and also if you're being physically active and you're you're working on building strength and uh, and uh, you do runs that are good for your heart and uh, and uh, blood circulation and all sorts of other good things. What is Suki doing? <laughs> She's trying to dig up dig up, dig up a mouse. I'm sorry for the for the thing. Um, uh, you are also becoming a person who will be able to live longer like there are many studies on uh, what muscle uh, growth, um, how it relates to our 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 well-being in in later years and uh, to our bone density. Like, imagine we're getting older and our bones are getting more fragile. Like, now we can like I can fall fall randomly on the ground, slip on something, and and fall in like. Put my hand on the on the on the way of falling. My hand is my like I don't break my arm. The older we get, the higher possibility is that we're gonna break our arm when we fall like falling like that. So, uh, muscle building helps you to make your bones stronger in the long run. So the older you get, your bones remain strong. They still do decrease a little bit, but if you're doing muscle work. Your bones are stronger. Many different things are better, like your testosterone levels and like fucking there's, there's like, it's incredible. I love all of these studies, like how much you can learn about good and positive things that are good for you, like, uh, and how you can motivate yourself from so many different angles to keep on, like to, to either start doing those things that will benefit you or, or keep on doing them and, and, improve and uh yeah like i can't wait to get my back fixed and i'll be running i'll be lifting weights i'll be fighting i'll be doing everything i can with the highest appreciation of the fact that i can do it and making sure that i'm a healthy individual for the time that i'm going to be old and i wish you the same and uh, i think this is the beginning of the end of this episode. I would like to go into like fucking substances and all sorts of things, but I'm not going to do that today because um, I think that's enough. <laughs> We're not going to make it too long. It's already 20 minutes. I think it's okay for uh, for uh, 
first episode after the break i don't know how long you guys even like like to listen to me so i appreciate you for watching i appreciate you for listening and uh you mean a hell of a lot to me really and i'm sorry for those who actually were waiting for the episode and i did not show up i feel like i let you i've let you down and uh thank you maris this was really refreshing to speak to someone in real life who's actually listening to this um yeah with that said let's listen to some blue bruce springsteen let's crank it on hell yeah thank you this was swingo talks episode 18 19 i think something like that and 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 for the very end Wait, 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 we're gonna do this again. Nice, eh? <laughs> And now we go for a little walk with Suki, eh? What's up, baby? What's up, baby? You've been waiting. Look look at your face, Suki. Suki, Suki. <laughs> look at your face. Look at your, look at your face. What did you do? She's all muddy. Oh my God. This is what Suki has been doing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, baby. <laughs> Twingle talks. Twingo talks, twingo talks, yeah.